Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Deadpool in his blue and yellow outfit, part of the Strong Guy Build-A-Figure wave. And I don't know, I've been hearing from a lot of people that they're tired of this particular body mold, and I have to say, I do agree. It has not aged well, and it's not very old, unfortunately. Uh, you know, a lot of people are tired of the Bucky Cat mold, and it certainly has its fair share of issues, but at least it has the overall heroic look to it. This mold, I don't know, I get that they're going for a more slender build here, but it really kind of just looks like loosely packed sausage, or like socks filled with potatoes. Something like that. It's not the best mold, but this figure does do at least one thing exceptionally well. Really, really nice. So there's some good and some bad to talk about, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about 16 and a half centimeters, a little shy of that, which makes him pretty close to, eh, let's say six and three eighths inches, pretty much your average build, size-wise, height-wise. And first things I notice, aside from the sculpt, the yellow line work on here for a Hasbro figure is astounding. It is incredibly well done. I, I mean, they've done weird little things like this before that turned out awesome, even though most of the time they have very difficult time doing clean paint work, especially things like this. It's really well done. There's a few places where it's a little light and it could be better or like there's a little chunk missing. You know, things like that are gonna happen. But if you look around on this guy's arms, his chest, his legs, his lower leg, like everywhere, the yellow line work is really well done. So kudos to them for that. Another thing that's probably the best iteration of this I've ever seen is the Deadpool belt. I've had lots of Deadpools, many multiples of some of them. I've never had one as clean as that, ever. It is almost perfect. And you're looking at it way closer than anybody would normally in everyday life, so that's pretty cool. Another thing that's pretty cool is they went ahead and painted the brown right there to make it look like the belt behind the buckle rather than just letting it stay yellow. That's a little thing most people would probably never notice, but it's something I appreciate because it means they're putting a little bit of effort in to make it look really good. The X, I've definitely seen better, but I've definitely seen a lot worse, so that's pretty good. They didn't paint any of the buttons or anything on the harness, so we do have a lot of a plasticky feel here. The little detail things that I talked about are done really well, but the plastic nature of this figure is really shining through, and I mean that literally. He's He's not completely glossy or anything like that, but he does look very plasticky. There's no paint anywhere except for those detailed pieces, detailed spots. So he just is essentially a solid blue figure, solid molded blue figure with a molded blue harness, mold, molded blue harness. I'm a professional. That's yellow, if anybody's concerned. I do know that that's yellow, and we have yellow molded parts there. These are molded in brown, and this part appears to be painted in brown. There's no shading, no paint, it just looks very cheap. Very cheap. For Marvel Legends standards, it's not very, very cheap. It's only a little bit of very cheap. But still, it's gonna look quite plasticky on your shelf. I don't think most people are gonna like that. Is it an absolute deal breaker? Probably not. But it is worth noting. Mine happens to have a terrible paint job for the eyes. It's just horrible. It looks like he got stung by a bee about a thousand times in his eyeballs. It's very, like the sculpt is already questionable. This is an old sculpt and he has kind of a poofy face feature situation going on, but the way it's painted makes it even worse. His eyes look so messed up. Looks awful. The yellow is clean enough though on there, but still. All right, so let's go ahead and just talk about the body real quick. So when this came out, even myself included, uh, a lot of people said it looked pretty good. And there are features about this sculpt that are good, like the muscle groups are all generally in the right places, things like that. But we still do have low and small shoulders, very bubbly looking arms, mostly because of the way the shoulders are done. We have fairly thin thighs, very unshapely lower legs, big feet. It's just, it's kind of frumpy looking. He looks kind of dumpy. He has a very narrow chest. It's just not a very heroic looking figure, other than the fact that he's ripped out of his mind, even though he's not very muscular, it doesn't look like a superhero. It looks like an everyday person, like as far as thickness and size wise. But even then, if you were as ripped as this, your body wouldn't be shaped like this. It doesn't, it just doesn't look 
Right, it looks very strange. And it's starting to wear on me more and more. And I've had lots of people also let me know that they feel that way. So I'm wondering, how do you guys feel about that? Are you tired of this body mold? Is it time for some good Hasbro body molds? I think it would be nice for some new ones. But all of that aside, this figure is, for Marvel Legends standards, okay. I'll give it aesthetically a six. That's not very generous, but it's not as mean as I could have been. As far as accessories go, we have his two katanas, which are painted in blue and yellow, and they have that kind of whitey silver plastic, and that's okay, I guess. We have two really crappy looking guns that are just molded in this pearly blue, and I don't like those. They just look so cheap and goofy, and there's no paint on them, so that's not great. Technically, his harness can come off if you want it to. Uh, I guess you could count that, but I'm not going to. Accessories, five out of 10. They're not particularly good. Also worth noting, his hands are only trigger finger hands, and they do not hold the sword for a darn they can't hold them very well at all like at all and it's terrible okay okay on to the articulation the head we've seen this all before hinge on a, with a ball peg so it moves around pretty well it's not seated too high but you do get lollipop if you're not careful but you can hide that so that's okay butterfly joint works really well shoulders do function nicely full rotation bicep swivel is fine Double jointed elbow is fine. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge, which is the wrong kind of hinge. Ab crunch. Also, the harness just doesn't fit this mold properly. I'd like to point that out. Ab crunch going back is not bad. It's okay. The harness hides his pregnant stomach, so that's good. Going forward, it's okay. Harness has to be readjusted. That's fine. It works well enough. That's all right. Waist twist is a waist twist. Hips go out to the side. Only about 45 degrees. That's really, there's no reason they can't go farther. They really need to fix that on future molds. Going forward is pretty okay. Going back is nothing. Thigh swivel is stuck. On that side, not on that side. Thigh swivel works. Double jointed knee gets pretty good range. That's okay. We do have a shin swivel, which is wonderfully hidden by that yellow line. Very well played there. Ankle goes all the way back and pretty much all the way forward and you get a solid ankle rocker. So it's your run of the mill Marvel Legends articulation, nothing special, nothing too egregious, I'll give it a seven. And so it's time for the final verdict. Is this a figure that's gonna impress you? Probably not. Is this a figure that's gonna disappoint you? Only if you had really high expectations. If you're used to buying Marvel Legends, this is a run of the mill figure. It's, it's nothing special at all. It's not gonna kill you. it's just okay. It'll fill a spot but you're not gonna be proud to own it. Unless it's your only figure, and then you might be, but if you have collected anything other than average Marvel Legends, this will not make you feel proud. Probably. So I'm gonna give it a final verdict of... Honestly, it only gets like a six. It's just not very good. There's nothing good about it except for those few detail things. The face looks pretty goofy. It's very plasticky. The accessories aren't that good. We don't have alternate hands that hold the weapons properly. The articulation for the hands doesn't... Yeah, there's just too much that's not good about it. It's not terrible, but it's not good. So six is fair, and that's what I'm going to call it. <sighs> let me know what you guys think about this figure, and if you want to let me know what you thought about the review, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either one is okay, and if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos out just about every single day, and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that, and in the meantime, keep collecting.